go. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. A look at the 76ers starting group. Hill is out there with Lynch. And it's Mutombo. Then there's Snow. And it's Iverson in at the two. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Allen Iverson shooting one. I don't know if we've seen a tougher player pound for pound than Allen Iverson. I mean, you can knock him around, but he's always going to bounce back up. Now, here's Jordan. He takes it in. Count it. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Inside, here's Mutombo, and it's the Kembe with the jam. And AI, Allen Iverson, does more than just shoot the ball. He also has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. I've been passing to Harper. Teardrop shot, and he sinks the layup. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Here's Iverson, and Iverson throws it down. Boy, the quickness of Iverson. What a blur this guy is. Slithering his way through the defense and never afraid to drive it inside despite being a small guy. Pippen kicks to Harper. That's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Outside Jordan. A floater, and he makes that one. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. This is it to Snow. Out to the wing. To the inside. Kicks it out to Iverson. Over Jordan. And it's Iverson missing. Chicago with the ball. To the paint. I've been passing to Hart. Outside Pippen. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Good. Iverson's got seven points in the game. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Outside Jordan. Seventy Sixers foul. Eric Snow. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Rodman passes to Jordan. Back to Rodman. Here's Harper. Shot clock at five. No good that time. Hill with some nice D. Iverson outside. Over Jordan. And Iverson gets it to go. And that's now nine points for Iverson. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Jordan. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. And Allen Iverson, the bucket, the assist by Hill. 11 points in the game. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Harper. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. To the middle. Harper kicks to Rodman. It's Pippen with the drive. And yes, it's good. Yeah, Pippen there, driving hard inside, has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. That bucket in in no time at all. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding box. All right. 
Ends up going with the new group. Then for the 76ers, Tigers checked in for Matumbo. Jones comes in for Hill, and it's McKee in for Snow. Bulls trail by three. Up top, Kukoc. Lynch defending. And there's the pass to Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Outside, Kukoc. Lock at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And here's Kerr for three. Drills it from outside. And that makes it a tie ball game. How quickly Kerr gets his shot off. An efficient shooter off the pass. And you can't afford to give him any room to shoot it. From T. Iverson gets the three-pointer to fall. Iverson's got 16 points. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. On the wing, Kukoc. Lynch defending. Kukoc pass to Wennington. Here's Bushler. On the wing, Kukoc. He's still scoreless so far in this one. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Pass to Iverson. Over Kerr. Again, Philadelphia. Boy, he has been special to start this game. Shooting eight of nine, just making it look easy. Kukoc kicks to Kerr. Pass to Simpkins. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Down low. And that one is stuck right through. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. A key, the pass to Iverson. To the inside. A key with it passes to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. And here's Jones. Here's Lynch. The 76ers need to get off a shot. He was all alone on that one. Iverson. Iverson's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the 76ers. Outside, Kukoc. It could go. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Philadelphia with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll return shortly. All right. Look who's coming on in the court. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the 76ers? We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in the first half. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. We've got Rodman. Jordan is out there with Harper. Then it's Kukoc, and it's Pippen in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now here's Jordan. He has six. Count that one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Iverson against Pippen. Matumbo dishes to McKee. Iverson outside. There's the pass to Snow. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. Snow. Snow's got the lead back up to six now for the 76ers. Snow against Pippen. We're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Iverson gets the bucket. And it's an 8-point 76ers lead. Iverson can score with the best of them. I tell you what, a volume shooter. He does not lack confidence and lets it fly from anywhere and everywhere. Now here's Kukoc. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. That one drops for him. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. 
and they double up Iverson to the left side wing. Hill gets to McKee, has to Snow. Matumbo inside, Rodman covered. He gets that one. Matumbo's got the lead up to eight now for the 76ers. Pass to Kukoc. Jordan with it over Iverson. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Kukoc. 12 points for Michael Jordan. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. McKee, the pass to Iverson. Shoots over Pippen. And they double up Iverson. And stolen by Jordan. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. On up the court. And then Rodman with the dunk. And I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. I'm not Paul for Philadelphia. All right. Look who's coming on in the court. Come on. Get loud for your lovable. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Claxton, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 76ers have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. And he makes the first. Shooting for Philadelphia at the line for two. Both good from the line that time. Bulls trail by six. Outside Pippen. Passes it to Harp. Outside Rodman. Jordan at the elbow. Outside Pippen. Four on the shot clock. Shoots the three. That one doesn't drop. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Hill inside. Rodman on him. Hill, no good. Here's Jordan. Takes it inside. And it's Jordan with the jam. And this is why you just can't give Jordan a running start. I mean, once he has that, the launch pad is set. And he's going to ecstasy. Right through the air and on top of your head. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Well, 76ers shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And the Bulls making a change here. Kerr's checked in. Bulls trail by seven. Outside Jordan. And then slammed in by Jordan. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Claxton. Five points in the game. Kicks it out to Jones. Wants to get it to Hill and does. And he finishes nicely on the way. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Pippen. And it's Tyrone Hill with the rebound. On the wing, Jones. Rodman covering. Now the pass to Claxton. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And now it's a 9.76ers lead. Kerr kicks to Pippen. I've been against Hill. To the paint. It's stolen by Jones. Claxton no good. Jones against Pippen. The shot's good from Rodman. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Perfect little passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Some 
changes. Huntington comes in for Long, and Bushler subbed in for Pippen. And the 76ers making a change here. The 76ers leading by seven. The shake. Rebounded by Wennington. That's one he knows he should have drained. Kerr, the pass to Bush. Right side, Jordan. Over Jones. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Pass to McKee. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Now here's McKee. He gets it in there. McKee. McKee's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. Pass to Bush. Back to Rodman. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Passes it to McKee. Matumbo inside. And so it's Philadelphia with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. We're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. so far we're halfway through the game what a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson no problems fighting his way to the rim in this one a lot of points in close yeah you know what guys they gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half I think they've got to be a lot tougher on it body him up be physical with him Bulls trail by 10 so on the floor for Philadelphia Lynch is out there with Geiger then it's Iverson and it's Mutombo and it's no and at the one spot Two points. That one goes. Pippen's got six. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Iverson kicks to Matumbo. Three-pointer. Snow. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. And here are the Bulls now. The feed to Rodman. Matumbo grabs the board. Matumbo's got his fourth rebound in this one. The drive by Iverson. And Iverson throws it down. Assisted by and he just dangles Matt from the Tyler. bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. Yes, that goes in. Eight points for him. I'll tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Iverson, Rodman with the block. Nasty defense from Rodman, part of his signature, I mean. He's really good at that end of the floor, and he can turn shots away, too. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Offensive rebound, back to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. Snow the pass to Lynch. And at last, they get one to fall. And the 76ers lead by 10. 
Jordan against Matumbo. Here's Rodman. Matumbo grabs the board. Matumbo's got rebound number five here tonight. The drive by Iverson. Can't connect from short range. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Pippen with the bucket. Scotty Pippen, a dependable shooter from here now. Like how he gets his feet set first. That's fundamental, but he's central. Now here's Iverson. 25 points in the game. Lynch's shot is off. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Shot up two there. Pippen's got nine points now in just the second half. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Some changes here for the 76ers. Oh, it's checked in for Matumbo. Jones comes in for Geiger, and it's McKee in for Snow. The drive by Iverson, and Iverson throws it down. And once he got up in the air, he just decided, you know what, I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to hit you with a little float. Float on. And oh, finally takes it down for the finish. I mentioned the floaters on this. Absolutely. Good good reference. Good reference. Now here's Pippen. He's got 13. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. 76ers ball. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Iverson. Here's Lynch. They grab their own miss. McCullough passes to Lynch. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. This one for three. And there's Iverson. That's good on the assist by Jones. Iverson's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Harper the pass to Jordan. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. And it goes down two points. Iverson. Iverson's got nine points here in the second half. Oh, um, work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Chicago making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Kukoc comes in for Rodman. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper. The 76ers also with a sub. Geiger's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Iverson against Kerr. Kicks it to Pippen. The pass to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Pass to Kukoc. And a miss there on the triple. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. Pass to Kerr. Jones against Pippen, and they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now here's Iverson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Iverson. Iverson's got 13 points now in the quarter. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Kerr kicks to Pippen. There's a screen. And he banks in the layup. Pippen's got 15. Boy, he's having a great half here. 
exactly the opposite of the first. Philadelphia leading by 12. Iverson outside. 59 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Passes it to Lynch. Up and in on the lane. Lynch. Lynch has got his second bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Winnington, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, how about the purpose Defensive with foul. which he's crashing the Jermaine backboards right Jones. now? Some hard-earned second chance foul. points. And some changes here for the 76ers. Tumbo, he's checked in for Geiger. Hill comes in for Lynch, and it's Snow in for Iverson. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's McKee. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his for Philadelphia. They have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. No good on that. Bulls making a switch here. Rodman's checked in at the line for two, and he sinks the second. There's 25 seconds left in the third. Kerr against Snow. Now Kerr. Kukoc a screen on Snow. Kerr the pass to Pippen. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Pippen's got 14 points here in the second half. Snow from outside. And so it's Philadelphia in control with a nine point lead to end the quarter. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. Right back after this break. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. It's the fourth, fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Why not call to Philadelphia? All right, Boogie's coming out of the court. Come on, get loud for your lovable. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last time out, I heard the 76ers coach talk to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So for Chicago right now, they've got Harper. Dennis Rodman is out there with Tony Kukoc. Then there's Pippen. And it's Longley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. A jumbo. Rodman grabs the miss. Bulls trail by nine. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Right side, Pippen. Back to Kukoc. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Philadelphia? Boy, guys, I really like how they've driven the ball to the basket in this game. I mean, they've been very aggressive with it. Yeah, I mean, they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Kuko jits them both. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Iverson, and the dunk by Iverson. Iverson. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with 
those kind of breakdowns. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. The first one falls. Iverson, two shots. And both free throws good for Iverson. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Harper kicks to Pippen, feeds to Rodman. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. And Scottie Pippen, so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. And it's Iverson missing. Hey, I like creativity and a circus finish as much as anybody. But you better be sure you got a chance to make it. Pippen. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Now here's Matumbo. Makes it off the glass. And the 76ers lead by 9. Can't allow Matumbo to get this deep. I mean, once you do... He's going to score it with ease. Harper kicks to Kukoc. Longley a screen on Jones. Back to Harper. Longley a screen on Iverson. On the clock. Here's Harper. Can't hit that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Iverson. Oh, what a great finish as he gets bumped on his way up. He'll go to the line and try to check on another. That's his first personal foul. You know, they're looking good, really good right now because of him. He sees this game by the throat, and he's squeezing hard. Lynch, he's checked in for Jones. At the line for the seventh. Free throw good, Iverson. Bulls trail by 12. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. It's Pippen with the drive. And it's good off the back rim and in. Pippen's got 22. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. And the pass to Lynch. Pippen against Iverson. Shoots over Pippen. And Iverson gets it to go. Iverson. Iverson's got 45 points. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against, and that's injury. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been of benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. And Philadelphia making a change here. Snow's checked in. Hey, fans. Who wants a free t-shirt? Make some noise. All right. Look who's coming on in the court. Come on. Get loud for your lovable. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Allen Iverson. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Here's Harper. To the middle. Here's Jordan. No good there. McKee with the defensive effort. The 76ers leading by 12. Snow the pass to Geiger. He kicks it to McKee. Top of the key. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Jordan with the bucket. 
Jordan's got 20. And, and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Pass to Snow. Here is Lynch. Three-pointer on the way. It's good from long range. And the 76ers Eric lead by 15. Three. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensive. Inside, Jordan takes to Harper. Six to shoot from 11 feet away. Here's Longley. Good work there as it goes. And you're not going to pass up that kind of play. Philadelphia leading by 13. The shot's good from Snow. Snow. Oh, relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Stolen. Hill up top. Rodman with the defensive effort. And the Bulls with possession. Jordan dishes to Pippen. 104 left to play in the final quarter. And Pippen slams it in. Hey, it's simple. When Pippen is feeling it. Keep getting him the ball. Philadelphia with the ball. Here's Snow. Pass to Lynch. Shoots over Pippen. Lynch's shot is off. There's 45 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Fires for three. And it's Pippen missing. Philadelphia with the ball. 13-point lead. Going inside. Snow can't hit. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Short again, Chicago. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Snow against Harper. Tries a three. Snow can't hit. For three, Pippen. And that one is off. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. The they the came game. in here and took care of business like they a were the home team. And it came the to to mental out toughness that this Your group support. showed. They, they were never yes. rattled at all Please, by the opposing fans. Safety. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.